Now I'm going to show you how to make a Gibson. This drink is an offshoot of the martini, so it's got a lot of things in common with it. You can either make it with gin or vodka. In this case, I'll make it with gin. gin. Um, in addition to that, the other ingredient you're going to use is dry vermouth. Now, dry vermouth is really strong, so you don't use that much, and a lot of times if you put too much in, the customer is going to complain. It's better to go on the lighter side because you can always add afterwards if they want you to make it a little bit more with um, vermouth, vermouth. So first, we're going to fill our mixer up halfway with ice. And then we're going to add our alcohol. Now, you're going to want to put about 2.5 ounces of liquor in here. And I'm not going to measure it because I'm just going to count my pour, but you might want to measure it when you do it. OK, that's about 2.5 ounces of gin. And now we're going to add our vermouth. With this, we're just going to do a little bit. And that would probably be the regular amount of vermouth you put in. Um, but sometimes they might ask for dry or bone dry or extra dry. Um, and those all have different meanings. Bone dry means that there's nothing. Um, extra dry means that there's a lot less. You probably just want to dump it over the rocks and then dump it out and then use those rocks when you make the drink. So now we're going to just stir it. We're going to start with our um, bar spoon, and you're just going to want to go carefully around. You don't want to bruise the ice. That means when you break pieces of the ice off into the gin. Um, so we're just going to go a few times around and just enough to chill, chill the ice. Now we're going to take it and we're going to pour it into our cocktail glass. And that's about the level that it should come up to. You want to make sure it's not going to be so high that either you're going to spill it when you serve it or the customer is going to spill it if they go to bring it to a table or go to bring it somewhere. And the garnish for this drink is going to be two cocktail onions. And there you have it. That is how you make a Gibson.